Let's cook breakfast. Yummy. Morning. This is Barbara from Arkansas. And I'm getting ready to cook me some breakfast this morning. It's dark in the galley, so I turned this little light on here. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but anyway, and I don't have my radio on. Cause <laughs> I don't have a radio. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, my mom always had uh, music going in the morning as she's fixing breakfast. And she was always up before we were. Breakfast was on the table and and it always smelled so good. Bacon and I'm making canned biscuits, which is okay with me. And I have some eggs. I'm going to fry a couple of eggs. And on top of that, I have some bacon. Yes. And I have an electric skillet. Huh? Big electric skillet. Anyway, now if I can figure out where to plug all this in. I'm still learning to cook in my kitchen. And it seems like my kitchen either getting smaller or I'm getting bigger. Or, I mean, my appliances, you know, and everything. Anyway, I turned on my toaster oven and brought over my electric skillet. I can find a place to plug it in here. Hmm. Put it there. The cord reaches across the oven. For the little uh, oven thing here. Anyway, that'll work. I'll just stick the cord underneath the, the little toaster oven. It's a big electric skillet. And I'm going to put it in, see if I can see what to put it on this morning. I really don't know. I'm just sort of testing it out. I know it comes with instructions. I know all that. But I am not in the mood to read the instructions this morning. So I'm just going to move on to making my biscuits. So I'm, I'm, uh, I didn't know what kind of video to do today because I've been sort of, I don't know if I'm depressed or, you know, making the, the move has changed my, uh, you know, you have a routine and you try to stay in a routine, it just makes things better. I don't know why it makes it better, but it it makes me better. I'll put it that way. It makes me better when I have a routine that I follow every morning so I don't have to think about it. <laughs> but this morning I'm way out of sync. I got up. A doggy didn't go to the doggy park this morning. He not very happy with me. But I thought, well, I'm going to cook us some breakfast. And then cook us some breakfast and then we'll go down to the doggy park and, and see if this routine works any better. Well, it's about, I don't know, 7.30 in the morning. I, I tell you what, I never remember when things are hot because sometimes I don't feel things. Uh, my hands are losing their sensitivity along with my feet. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to try to do this here make some biscuits. So I put uh, aluminum foil on my little thing, my little tray for the toaster oven. And then I think I'll put the biscuits in it. Yeah. I tried this biscuit. So let's see if I have fine enough for him to do all this. Hmm. Well. I, I think it's still hot. I don't know why I can't pick. You know, these are cute little Things. I have a darling little pot holders. They're so cute. My sister made them. So I buy. Aren't they adorable? So I just need to use them. That's all. So I have it right here. I'm going to open up these biscuits. I had not made them in a long time. Let's see. Oh, put it on 400. 
Okay, I think I have the toaster oven on 400. Then I put the aluminum foil on the cookie sheet, cookie tray, and then I try to figure out how I open the biscuits. Hmm. If I use a knife. Think so? I don't know, I'll give it a try. Yes. Ah, there we go. Biscuits are open. <laughs> Here come the biscuits. Okay. I'm going to put the biscuits in here in my little tray. And it said I didn't need to grease it, so. Mama always greased biscuits. <laughs> that way they were always so brown and tasty. You know, and then she'd flip them over in the butter on the tray. It's really good. Okay. Now. Biscuits are going in. See? Right there. There they are. I got five of them. Okay. Oven's on 400. Stick those in there. Electric. Oh, that's what tilt everything up. Electric. Put my aluminum foil up. When I put things up, then I'll end up with them on the floor. And then I'm having to walk over, which is not good because I can't feel them, right? So now I got the bacon, and you'll hear it here in a minute as it starts to fry up. Now I'm going to make these biscuits and uh, bacon. And my little neighbor next door, Barbara, uh, she has a tendency not to eat. And they had to put her in the hospital because she didn't eat. You know, that's what we do. We forget not to. Well, we eat, but not the right things. Like we'll grab a cookie. Oh, that's breakfast. That sounds pretty good. Or you say, oh, man, I got a cupcake. I guess I'll have that for lunch. Oh, I've got some milk. That'll go good, good. Maybe some coffee. Occasionally, if you have an apple, you'll say, okay, I'm going to eat an apple. Yep. But that's what we do when we live by ourselves sometimes. Not everybody, but a lot of us. We just sort of exist. <laughs> and, uh, and since we can't get out because of the pandemic, you know, we can't go out and get something. I don't drive. I'm not far. And we're in sort of like, uh, shut down kind of thing, you know. Yeah, why does bacon roll all over the place? Why don't it just lay flat? Uh, must be a better way to do bacon than I know how to do. But it's, it's curling up or something here. And one of them's so curled up I can't even get it flat. And I like mine really brown all over. You know, I don't want no raw pork. Because, you know, I don't want that trichinosis or whatever it is. And I think my toaster, I think my oven's still working. I can't, well, it likes them, I guess it is. I'm always, when I was living in the RV, one of the problems I remember, which I loved my RV, I really did. I loved it. I loved the way I had it all set up with the little doggy. I had a little yard with a fence on it and a little doggy door in my RV and I had a little porch and I just sat out there and anyway, I won't talk about that anymore. Uh, so anyway, but here I have um, a kitchen with a stove, refrigerator, uh, refrigerator is really about three times bigger than I had in the RV, which uh, helps me to, um, you know, keep uh, store supplies, you know, like crackers and canned soup. Talking about canned soup, I bought some Campbell's, you know, my daughter did, Campbell's noodle soup. 
I'm telling you, they have half the noodles they used to have. I know they're trying to make money, but we just used to have, I thought, maybe I just remember things differently, but, but uh, used to, when you've got chicken noodle soup, you have enough for two people, and have all those noodles, little pieces of meat and carrots, you know. So, anyway, I opened the can the other day and warmed it up. Well, I couldn't find hardly any noodles at all. No, I did not. I said, man, maybe you ought to be getting me some lo mein, or what is it, lo mein? It has all the noodles in it and mix the two together. So I got some noodles. And I said, there's, I swear, there's less noodles. But anyway. Anyway, that's just the way it is, I guess, the way the economy is. So I caught, oh. And, uh, anyway, this bacon is just rolling all over the place. Too bad you can't see it. Because <laughs> you'd probably be laughing your head off. Because I am. <laughs> but I think I may cut my bacon in, uh, that sandwich press. At least I just, you know, close it down on it like this. Cook it all the way through. We'll see about that another day when I decide to cook breakfast. But, you know... Breakfast, I cut my love at breakfast, other than biscuits, jam, <laughs> bacon, or sausage, gravy, <laughs> or uh, strawberry jam. Anyway, I love fried eggs. Now, my mom used to make fried eggs, and I'd always ask her to make me some crocheted eggs. And I don't know, my daddy, I guess, called them that. I don't know. But it was, when you fry eggs, and it gets a little brown crochet looking thing around it or a little if you don't know what crochet look thinks is I guess that would be confusing to you but it gives sort of a lacy look which I really enjoyed eating because it gave so much flavor you know to me it did anyway to me it did well this bacon in a minute <laughs> I'm gonna put this bacon in that press I'm telling you if you don't cook Stay flat. I don't know. Do I, do I turn it up? I wonder. Turning it up might help. I don't know. I don't want to cut. This alarm goes off every time I try to cook. So I'm going to cut it. My sister said, well, turn on the fan. And so she's right. Okay, now I know y'all have a question. You said, now, if you have a stove, why are you cooking in an electric skillet? Well, I don't have any pots and pans. But that's not the reason I don't have <laughs> why is I don't manage the stove very well. I have a tendency, uh, if it's not contained, the heat that I'm working with, I have a tendency to set things on fire. Uh, they may not flame, but they smoke. <laughs> and, and of course the whole house goes crazy and so does everybody in the residence. So I have to just use the contained heat. Um, and the electro skillet works pretty good, except it's a little big for me, but, uh, but you know, like my bacon here is cooking up and my biscuits are cooking up. I'm hoping they are. It looks like they're on. But, Anyway, I'm trying to get this bacon done. Okay. And uh, one thing about it, I could never do a cooking show. I'm just talking because I want to this morning. And I have nothing to talk about, really. Uh, the virus and, you know. The worst thing about this whole thing for me, other than I'm lucky I don't have it, is the, is the thing that... Uh, <coughs> Oh, my plates. <laughs> um, let's see where I put it. So, uh, it's being cooped up all day long. I take Connor, you know, to the park. And uh, I'm not going to get these out of here. Yeah, I'll try 
<laughs> so anyway, it's being inside all day. You know, you watch movies. Luckily, I do have Wi-Fi. Because if you're on um, food stamps, you get a free phone from the government, which I've been blessed by that. Plus, the Wi-Fi through the home here and everything, and the concierge that works with us. Uh, if you qualify for it, you can get uh, Wi-Fi for 95 cents a month. And I get about everything, which is really, really nice. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to cook me an egg. Which was one of the, another benefit of living here in Arkansas and independent living is some things that you're eligible for if you don't make a lot of money. I can't remember what the borderline is. 14, 50,000 a year, something like that. It doesn't matter really, I'm just grabbing. But anyway, I'm fortunate in that. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. Look at these huge eggs. Now, up there in the hills, I got fresh eggs from my neighbor Barbara and David. So I had fresh eggs now. These are bought eggs that my daughter got for me. And up there the oaks are real dark. You know, dark, dark yellow. Almost orange. But these are real light. Now they're big eggs. And up there we got all sizes and all colors. Gosh, I miss those eggs. But it, anyway. I ate a lot more eggs even there than I did here. I mean, I ate more there. That's what I meant to say. Can you hear them? Well, if you actually see them, they're making that, I call it crochet, but put lace on it, and my bacon, and then my bread. It's almost ready. And I'll make me a little biscuit. With, I've got some jam. So that's going to be my breakfast. Well, uh, see, I don't know if you can see my eggs or not. Can you see my eggs? They look good. And there's my bacon. And in this little cookie here is my biscuit. And then I've got grape jam and strawberry jam. I mean, grape jelly and strawberry jam. The thing about this thing's nice. I guess I need to use this more often. <laughs> I usually cook everything with a fork. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'll move everything here and get out. Okay. Now, I've got enough bacon for a couple of days, so I'll put some of it in a Ziploc bag, and then in the morning I'll have to cook bacon if I want bacon or something like that. I got to remember, and I'm telling you this because it helps me, I have to turn this off, okay? I have to unplug it. My electric skeleton, don't move it. One day I moved it and I dropped it because I couldn't feel it. And the breeze just went everywhere. So anyway. Eggs are done. Bacon's done. Got a Ziploc bag here. And I'm going to put bacon in it. Because so I'm just going to keep out part of it. See, there's enough for another day. For another meal. And I'll put it in the freezer. That's how our biscuits are doing now. And how do I know when they're done? When well, they're done with what? Well, they're brown on top. I guess I'll get a pot holder here and try to figure out how to get them out. Anyway, do those look done to you? 
amazing. Those look bad. Maybe they are. Now where am I going to put them? Oh, I got to unplug the toaster. Is that what I do? Unplug the toaster. Turn it off. Okay. Close the door. And then put a couple of biscuits on my plate. put the biscuits back in there because it's unplugged and keep them nice and warm so I'll show you my plate <laughs> and then can you see my plate can you that's my plate of goodies and I did it all Mr. Larry right you can't see this little Larry you can but anyway I got that done so Anyway, have a good day. Remember, God has a sinner in his hands and pray for, pray for earth because we need the prayers out there. And have a blessed day and I'm going to eat breakfast. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.